Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. I posted a video last month in April about the Microsoft Defender app, which as many of you know, is the default security uh, solution and product found on Windows 10 and 11, which according to AV Comparatives, and AV Comparatives are a security research and testing company, um, they said that Microsoft Defender had one of the worst offline detection rates for home users. And as I mentioned in that video, they confirmed the high detection and protection rate of Microsoft Defender uh, while the app was used online. But um, unfortunately, the app's off offline detection rate was weaker than that of other mainstream antivirus solutions while being used offline. And I will leave a link down below to that video if you're interested. Now, unfortunately, once again, um, for the uh, AV Comparatives test results for the month of April 2022, um, Microsoft Defender once again isn't doing too well according to AV Comparatives and these tests were testing the impact that the different antivirus products were having on system performance. Now as I mentioned with most of these um, uh, tests done by these different companies on different products and so on, uh, you take them with a pinch of salt so to speak as these different companies do use different methods and although they do give us a good indication they are not completely 100 percent accurate so just keep that in mind now the release date of this post was the 3rd of may so that was yesterday in my region of the world so it's a current post and the performance test was for april 2022 which tested the impact of consumer security software on system performance where they say the performance uh, test evaluates the impact of antivirus software on system performance as programs running in background, such as real-time protection antivirus software, use some percentage of system resources, which as many of you know, um, there are processes running in the background with your antivirus as it needs to be running in the background to detect threats, malware, and so on. Now, taking these tests as reference, users can evaluate the antivirus protection in terms of system speed and system performance so this video today is all about these uh, the impact on your system performance by the different um antivirus products and solutions and um, that are out there currently today and these are the products that they tested and um, which are your mainstream antivirus products and solutions and they say that the following activities tests were performed under an up-to-date Windows 10 21H2 64-bit system. And as many of you know, Windows 10 21H2 is your, um, your most stable uh, version, an up-to-date version of the Windows 10 operating system. And those activities included file copying, archiving, unarchiving, installing, uninstalling applications, launching applications, downloading files, browsing websites, and... They also ran PC Mark 10 professional testing suite. So that's how the tests were done with um, by um, doing the following activities and tests. Now, if we just scroll down to the actual graph, and by the way, I'll leave a link down below to this post as it is quite interesting. And if you are interested, um, it will give you a lot more in-depth information. And they say here, uh, uh, before we take a look at the graph, the baseline system they used was an Intel core r3 machine with four gigabytes of ram and an ssd drive although it had an ssd drive though it was a budget machine only running an r3 with four gigabytes of ram which by today's standards is not really sufficient and if we just take a more in-depth look at the graph for the purposes of this video um yeah we see the different anti -pro uh, antivirus products that were tested and the antivirus products with the least impact on system performance, number one was K7, then Panda, then ESET. And yeah, in the middle, Avast, AVG, Kaspersky. And then your, uh, your three products with the most impact were Malwarebytes, uh, Microsoft Defender, as mentioned, and Total Defense. So according to um, uh, AV, uh, uh, AV Comparatives, Microsoft Defender, uh, is the uses the second highest amount of system resources and has the um, second highest impact um, on your system when it comes to antivirus products and solutions according to their tests. So once again, not good news uh, for the Microsoft Defender app. I personally use Microsoft Defender and I don't have an issue with it and I personally don't feel why you have to spend money on any um, third-party antivirus product. But two months in a row now, AV Comparatives has given us bad news regarding Microsoft Defender and this month uh, it has your second highest impact on system performance. Now, um, 
as mentioned, um, this was these tests were done on a single low-powered system, um, and I'm sure that if they used a you know a higher uh, spec and a higher uh, budget machine, that their test results could have differed. But this was done on a low-budget machine, and thought it was interesting, and just wanted to share it with you in this video. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.